Hey everyone, RG here and welcome back to another and new 3 building tips and tricks that I created for you, you ask and I deliver. Right now on the screen you can pick the one that you want to see first, but if you want to stick around and watch the whole thing from the beginning, let's get it started. Okay, so we are gonna start with the ramp into a foundation and this is our starting point. And by starting point I mean that we have a lovely lovely home, look at that lovely home, and we have a vehicle that needs to go into the garage, well, at least in our imagination. But now we want to create a ramp to give it a more of a realistic vibe, just like I created in the IKEA build or in the mall build, we want to create a ramp. Now you can play with the uh, with the tool, to, with the terrain tool. Um, and just raise it up a bit and smooth it away to, uh, to, to, to that area. I don't like it, okay? Uh, once I created and found a way to create this uh, lovely, lovely ramp, I use this method only. Now, you won't believe how simple it is. It's basically just a half gabbled roof that you are gonna manipulate and, and bend it and, and, and stretch it and do some th stuff for it so it will fit and become like a ramp. But there are some tricky areas that you really want to pay close attention because the ramp might disappear, will be deleted, so many things that can uh, happen. So what you want to do is to take yourself a half gabled roof, let's paint it already with the not so drab slab uh, pattern for, uh, for, uh, for the uh, roof. This is the most resembling for gravel or, or, or uh, concrete or whatever you want to call it. And now what you want, you want to create, well, you want to do some preparations before you are going to even place it near the, uh, the, uh, the door, okay? And why is that? Is because you just cannot, let's, let's just take it down with using Alt key. You cannot just take it over there and place it near it, okay? If I try to place it near it, you can see right now it's one tile away from the door, okay? And it cannot really reach it. And even if you do that, okay, uh, and I will extend the extras over here, you're still gonna end up with some like ugly uh, gaps here and area over here that is really, really, it just not like, it looks bad, okay? So what you want to do, and, and oh, and by the way, what I was saying before that you can't place it on it like really close to the foundation because it will automatically snap into, well, onto the foundation. The things that you want to do and make sure you're doing it before placing the ramp and in general I do recommend for you placing the ramp after you're finishing old stuff for your build, okay? What you want to do is to create some sort of a border from both sides so it will hide the uh, the gap and it will give it more of a finished uh, um, touches or, or design to, to the ramp, okay? And you do that by creating a wall. Now. If you're gonna use it and create like half wall, like this one, the short half wall, it might look weird a bit. Um, so what I do recommend for you to do is to go to the fences. And for those who don't have the get to work pack, so uh, you don't have the fence for Windows shopping, but, but this is the fencing that I do recommend for you to use because it's the, the most least noticeable, okay? For example, one, two, one, Oh, come on, one, two, three, and one, two, three. This is our border, and here in the middle is gonna be our ramp. And of course you can apply the, um, the foundation style to it, but if you don't have the get to work, um, what you can do with basic game is use the smooth keeper, okay? Use that like this and apply the, uh, the foundation style to it. And, and, and those are two of, the option, two of the options that I do recommend for you to use. Now, once you've done that, and I will use this one because it's, as I said, it's the least noticeable. Once you've done that, you can t start walking on the ramp itself. Now, for a small distance like this, because the ramp should not be like super, super long. If you're creating a bigger build, you do want to stretch the ramp even further. But for us, we want to use let's say one on, wait a minute, we have here one, two, three, four tiles. So we are gonna use one on two, one on two. You can see the green indicator uh, telling us that this, uh, this gabled, half gabled roof is one by uh, two dimensions. So we are gonna take it and place it 
right here in the middle exactly in the middle okay and this is important and here's why it's important because if I'm gonna try to place it on the side it will just snap automatically on the foundation you always have to keep one tile gap between the roof on the ground and the foundation that you're trying to connect the roof as a ramp to it if, if, you, if it's if you understand that okay this is a rule for creating ramps now once you've done that I do recommend for you to get rid of that spread spread that strip over here of the foundation by using the uh, normal foundation and if you just go and try to apply it it will try to color the whole thing as you can see try to call on the right side here hold shift and it will color only this area and why is that because one once we are gonna try to manipulate the roof and, and stretch it and, and pull it we want a clear connection between the um, between the entrance of the of the garage and the ramp and that black line here we just mess it up it will look really really weird okay so once you've done that you can start and creating the ramp which is super super easy you just need to pull it up using the alt key okay if you're not using the alt key and i and i sell it a lot if you're not using the alt key it will just give you like um snapping point that the computer or the game uh, uh, decided when they uh, built those uh, uh, those roofs so use the alt key and it will give you the option to move it freely but now you want to stretch it out so you're gonna use the indicators over here you don't need to use the other one because once you are uh, stretching one side the other one will stretch with it unless you're holding the shift key so don't hold the shift key right now and stretch it one time and you can see that it connected to the foundation now we're gonna press it use the alt key and manipulate it and push it up until it will fit exactly into the door exactly just like this okay look how neat it looks from this point you do exactly the same with the arrows do not use those indicator because if you're gonna use them they will just push it outside of the border that you just created so you want to use not those indicators you want to use those one okay and use one time and look how neat beautiful it looks you just created yourself a ramp into the garage that you are uh, want to use uh, so basically this is a cosmetic design for a ramp and you can of course go from this point and and do whatever you want you can of course you can do something like that and extend that area over here you can really go crazy you can put some flowers on top of this area you can change the gravel stylish ramp to whatever you want this is basically the uh, pattern for roofs you can go with glass it will look weird you can go with thatch it will look even weirder <laughs> but really this is your area to go bananas so be my guess anyway this is the tutorial how to create the ramp and now let's go to the next tutorial okay so for uh, our custom made fireplace you need it, it's a bit more complicated than the ramp or um or even the uh, aquarium wall but uh you need to work on on two on both the living uh, mode and the building mode what you want to do is to bring yourself a mechanic this is timmy the mechanic he's my uh my assistant and and he just finished made those six uh, fire uh, fireplaces being like a uh, fire uh, fire guarded this is an upgrade you can see I'll play for a second you can see that he upgraded all those six fireplaces with auto light and fire guard now now fire guard you can skip it you don't have to use it but you must have all the fireplaces that we are gonna use and, and the number of the fireplaces that you are gonna use is really dependent on the uh, size of your custom-made fireplace I cannot tell you how much to use this is a base game basically base game fireplace so you can use it just like I created the one uh, from the uh, base game penthouse a few uh, like a few days ago so you must have the auto light upgrade on each one of them and I do recommend for you to go with fire guard unless you want to burn down your whole house now once you have them you can go back to building mode okay and you can start working on the custom made fireplace now 
Uh, I'm gonna, for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna show you a small one, like two by one um, custom made fireplace. And this is the base. Once you know how to do that, you can do whatever you want with, uh, with, um, uh, with, fi with custom made fireplaces, okay? So you go to medium short half wall and you create yourself a area. You know what? Let's create a one in the middle of the um, of the house. You can create one that is uh, touching the walls, the the outside walls. Uh, it will not be super super different. It, it basically the same the same way you do it. So you create yourself the area that you want to create that custom made, which is one by two. You, you can go with uh, one by four, one by three, whatever you, you can do, two by six. The, the, the basic is the same, okay? So we are gonna go with one by two. And once you have that, you can bring those custom, uh, those fireplaces that we just upgraded inside. And you just take one, bring it over, descale it until it becomes the smallest one that you can get and you put it and you raise it using the zero and the nine until you can see the flame goes above the edge of the wall. Once you press it, it will disappear the flame, but it's okay, we can work with it. Now grab yourself another one, come on, another one, bring it again over here, descale it and put it up. Okay, if, if you go and try to smoosh them together, like uh, they are like, you can, you can see that they are touching each other, it will be the best thing to do because they will, uh, the, the flame will stick one to each other, it will be more realistic, I guess, uh, instead of like flame here, flame here, flame here. And just keep going with it, with the, uh, with the idea, bring it over, descale it and go up. Uh, because we use the first one as an anchor, we know uh, like to, to what level or to what height to bring the others, okay? And now you can bring the other three and I do recommend for you to place them on the other side. One, two, three and try to bring them the same height as the other one, just like this. And bring, where are they? Okay, there we go. And bring those two, do the same, bring them up. And you know what, let's bring them a bit more to the center, just like that. And let's bring this one. And really you need to just play with it a bit until it become uh, central. And those need to go a bit like this and this. Okay, now we want to top them off, okay? And sometimes you will find yourself need to bring them up a bit more. This is really tests, okay? So we're gonna bring our mechanic inside the house because uh, we created it as a auto light, so they will just start working right now, right? There we go. They automatically start start working, and you can see the fire, okay? Now we want to top them off with something to to give it a more like a you know like a fireplace uh, vibe. Okay, so we go back to building mode and because I'm, I'm showing you how to create a base game one, uh, you can go with uh, other stuff, but, but I'm going to show you how to do it as a base game. You go to the debug section and you scroll down until you go and find those um, flat garden path stones. Okay, I use them a lot. And, and the beauty of them that they will give you really like a feel of a of custom made fireplace, okay? You bring them over and you bring them up just like we did with the uh, fireplaces themselves, okay? Until they will cover the fireplaces. Look how nicely it looks. If I'll go to the live mode right now, you can see that the flames goes uh, above it. And to give it really the, the last touches for this is basically to, um, to add the uh, outside and Look how uh, how we're gonna do that. You can of course uh, first of all add some like stonish, stonish uh, vibe to the exterior of it. And now we're gonna use the stones we have here and pick the black color. And just like we did before with the other stuff, we're gonna raise them up until they will like uh, pop up a bit, like so. And you take another one, you descale it a bit, 
Okay, something like that. Um, like so. And that is uh, looking uh, great. Okay, so from this point, we have only one thing to do here. Well, two things. It's, it's really the last touches. You can go with some uh, out, like extras. This is this is really your your area to uh, to go bananas with uh, with with your design. So now uh, we are at the final touches of it. You go to the stove area um, and you go to the um, they call it the fan ra range hood. Okay, Th those are basically the things that you put above. Uh, stoves so you just pick pick one of them that you enjoy or like it and And you just play with it a bit. You can take them you can scale them a bit and you can of course change the color of them and Basically, this is how simple it is to create a custom made fireplace You can of course create them a bit lower if you use a smaller size uh, a small size uh, um, half walls and, and you can make them a bit higher you can add some glass around them you can do a lot of things with custom made fireplaces and this is how we do it let's go to the next tutorial okay so to start off with the aquarium wall you want to start just like the um, just like the custom made fireplace but a uh, heads up you need to own few packs uh, in order to do that because you cannot do it just what just like uh, with base game you must have those items which are the fish tanks and you can get them from the spa pack the cats and dogs uh, i believe the dining out there we go and another one I mean, oh two of them you can get from the spa pack one from the dining uh, out pack and one from the cats and dogs my opinion go with the spa pack if you don't have any of the others take the spa pack and and you will get two in a price of one pack which is great once you have them you need to have the Moschino staff pack we're gonna use it and we're gonna use the island living pack i said it's a bit more complicated it's a bit more um advanced tutorial but at the end you will end up with amazing uh, uh, like full-size wall that is aquarium so uh, you're gonna start off just like the fireplace create yourself like half short wall how, how do they call it oh come on it calls the medium short half wall and you create yourself like uh, an area of make sure it is even tiles number okay one two three four five six go with two four six eight whatever you want but don't go with three five seven and you'll see in a bit why once you've done that we are going to uh, take one two three of those uh, it's really the number of the uh, of the fish tanks that you're going to take it depend on the size of the of the wall that you are creating and i'm going to take one uh, like this place it inside second one like this place it inside third one i want this one and place them inside once you've done that go to the living uh, mode option and fill them with fishes because you won't be able to to reach them once you finish the whole build okay so we do it in advance so you don't have to break the whole thing and do it again great and then go back to building mode after that, you take one of the containers and descale it. Do it with all of the three of them. Once you are in this position, you created like 50% of the uh, of the aquarium wall. From this point, we need something to cover the whole thing. And to cover it, you can do just like we did in the uh, fireplace, um, the custom fireplace. Go to the debug section and place debug. Scroll down until you find those uh, uh, tiles again. And you can place them above and those are basic uh, base game um, items so you can use you can use them by using the base game you don't need any extra uh, pack now I'll fill the whole thing and I'll come back to you okay so I fill the whole thing with it of course as you can see I never really turn them so you can turn them to give it a bit more uh, you know so it will not look like copy paste those the pattern of them really your area to go and, and crazy with the design but now here come the more fun part the fun part is actually to create the whole aquarium inside look like um, custom made aquarium so you need to have the pack the island living 
because we have a lot of new things over there new well we have a lot of things over there that uh, that's related to the sea so you go to the debug section with the island living uh, filter go down until you find those rocks uh, turn them re uh, like descale them and go and place them like this okay you can have there's another uh, type here play with it go bring up you can give it a bit even make it like a higher than the the first one and another thing you can do is placing it even lower than the first one and you can take some corals here and play with them descale them bring them up just make sure they are st stay inside of the uh, of the build, like not going outside of the uh, of the borders that we created. That's too high for the corral, so take it lower like that. And there's another one we can use. Why not? This is the place for you to uh, to go crazy with the design. Okay, that's too high. No, that's okay. And of course we have some sea stars. So place even like this one over here. I'm really counting you to go crazy with the design. You can you, you can really go crazy with with the stuff that you can fit inside our our uh, wall aquarium here. And of course you can uh, even add some bushes that we have from the island living, which is this one, I believe, right? Come on, there we go. You can descale it so it will fit, and you can put it inside just like this. You can really go crazy with the design. I'm counting you to to do so. But now let's keep moving and finish the design of the. Let's create from this an aquarium wall. So what you want to do is to create the uh, border. Wait a minute. Let's me let me just do that and that. And go to the Mustino Staff Pack. Now, if you have the Mustino Staff Pack, just go to the section of the search and type divider. Divider, there we go. And you have so many options here, but the only thing that I, and I've tested it a lot, the only thing that will work perfectly is the Mustino Staff Pack room divider, this one. And I think you know where we are going with this from this point. Basically, you're gonna color it. I will go with the black and we descale it so it will fit perfectly one tile. And we're gonna place it here and go up. Just like this. You can go and create it like this, okay? But, and this is the biggest problem, as you can see, it will go above the room height. So if you don't have anything above it, it's okay. If you do have stuff above it, like if you have another floor, it will be a bit problematic. But if you want to go, you can go with it just like this. But uh, if you have another floor, you want to go just like this, okay? Uh, place them manually and give me a few uh, seconds and I will have a cut here. I will do just, just what you're seeing me doing right now and I'll see you at the end with the end product. And there you have it. This is how you create a full size, like a aquarium wall in your game. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to hit the like button if you enjoy this. Share the video with friends. And if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos every week regarding building and builds. Anyway, uh, right now on the screen, there's a new video for you to check it out. So make sure to do that. And until the next time, keep that thing spotting going for me, Archer Gaming, signing off.